What's up guys? It's Ned the Trainer here. Uh, today's a little motivation for your day. Hopefully you enjoy this. Uh, today's motivation comes from a book called Living Forward by uh, Michael Hyatt and um, Daniel Harkavy. I think that's how you say his name. But uh, check out the book. And uh, today's idea um, comes from, um, you know, in the book he talks about, you know, leaving a legacy. Uh, we're all leaving a legacy. Uh, whether you know we, we know about it, we're leaving a legacy, or we're doing it with intentionality. You know, it's just like the classic. You know, what do you want to be remembered for? Uh, what do you want written down in your your tombstone uh, when you die? Um, that's a way to start thinking uh, forward, but bring it backwards. So being able to plan out with intentionality what you want to be remembered for and how you want to live your life. You know, I think this is important. A lot of times we tend to be so focused in the present or the past and we forget that, you know, we can write down these goals and we can create this life plan and design uh, for the future and uh, watch it come to fruition, right? We want to be intentional about where we want to go rather than just happening upon it. You know, uh, there's a saying that when a ship sets sail, uh, there's two things it must know, right? It's destination and how to prevent from hitting other ships. Right, so it's intentional about the route it takes to get to its destination. Um, in the book, there's this idea that I want to touch on called pull power. Right, that's this right here, pull power. All right, pull. Oh, reach down, change my notes. All right, pull power. So um, you know, when you have a goal in mind um, or a vision for your life. Does it fire you up in the morning, right? That, that's what we mean by pull power. You know, does it wake you up? You know, for, for me, it's four o'clock in the morning to go wake up to train a client. For you, it may be different. You know, whether it's flipping burgers, knitting, or babysitting, or lifeguarding, or going to whatever it is. Does the vision you have for your future fire you up, fire you up such that you wake up in the morning with this, this, this passion uh, or this pull power? Does it pull you towards the goal, right? Um, there's a guy by the name of Pierce Steele who won uh, the Nobel equivalent, Nobel Prize equivalent in uh, psychology. And um, he, he did tons of research on the science of motivation. And um, after researching, he did like a meta-analysis meta of hundreds of research papers on motivation. And what he found was uh, he created this equation called the motivation equation, right? So it goes something like this. So motivation equals expectancy times value over impulsivity times delay but the most important part to this equation is actually the numerator here expectancy times value so what that means is see when you you value a goal, so you believe that, you know, and let me say it this way. So when you value a goal multiplied with the expectancy that you're going to achieve the goal, that's what creates more motivation, right? It's this combination of valuing something and expecting that you're going to achieve it that actually is the pool power we had talked about. So this is the thing that's going to drive you to wake up early in the morning. Now if your goal or vision for your life does not fire you up in the morning or wake you up or pull you towards it, then that's where we need to turn up the vision we have for our life. right? Your vision should, for your life should be so big such that it may even scare you, but it's so attractive that it pulls you over and you expect to achieve it, all right? So that's the idea of pull power. Uh, check out the book, Living uh, Forward, again by Michael Hyatt. And um, another guy's name, Daniel Harkavy. And uh, until next time, guys, hopefully this motivated your day. I'm Nedu the Trainer, and I'm out of here.